Hey guys, Crewman here with my first Iron Fish video. Now, I kind of wasn't sure if I wanted to do an Iron Fish video because everything is changing so rapidly, but there are a ton of questions people have. You can now, as of yesterday, update Hive on the GUI just to get the latest version of all the miners. And in my personal opinion, Regal Miner is the best one and it supports dual mining. Now, there's been a lot of price discussion or price prediction about iron fish but we don't have the price yet and because we don't have the price yet in my humble opinion it is absolutely worth the one minute every hour to do mine with zil so I personally only mined iron fish so I only single mined iron fish single coin mined iron fish for 24 hours and then yesterday after regal uh, after hive was updated and you could dual mine I started dual mining with my entire farm, which as of recording right now is about 1.35 terahash on dual mining Zill and Ironfish. So I've seen a lot of people with questions on it and using Regal, it's super easy and it's super stable. So let's just get right to it. Um, this guide is only gonna be for Hive and it's gonna assume that you know how to set up extra parameters because if you've already been mining Ironfish, I'm assuming you know that. So let's just dive right in. So first, you'll need to you'll need to set up the coins in your wallet, which you already know how to do. Um, when you update when you update to Regal, and you put Ironfish, and you put your wallet, and then you put Regal Miner, it'll give you the option to select a second coin. So you do that, and then once you select the second coin, you do the same thing where you select your pool, um, your wallet, and then you when you go to extra pr configure parameters, this is what you want to do. Now you see the first window is Ironfish. You don't want to forget the second coin window, and you see in the extra um, config arguments, these are the overclock settings. I'll go over these in a minute. I just want to show the other uh, the other window too. So the right side is Zill, and the left side is Ironfish. Your extra config arguments will actually already show up on both windows once you put them into the Ironfish one, so you don't have to do anything. So this is what it sh this is what the minor config should look like on extra parameters as long as you have the first window set up properly. If you want to use a different pool URL, you'll have to type them in manually. And then here's the overclock efficiencies. On the right, I'm sorry, on the left is the most efficient, as you can see there. Uh, the only difference is the core is when you lock the core clock. 1470 is the most efficient. If you want to push the hash. On, now this is for 30 series. I don't own any, um, I don't own any GPUs that are under 30 series, and my big navvies are only mining. Uh, I'm not dual mining on them right now. I'm just solo mining on them. And I'll release a video for those overclock settings, uh, probably in a little bit. And then the left, um, I'm sorry, the right window is when you push the overclocks for dual mining. I went up to 1680, you can go up to 1800 on some 30 series, but this is what I prefer. Um, you know, I, I didn't want to push it too, too hard, but I am pushing it, you know, probably about 30% more. And I got about, I want to say I got about almost looking at my minor. Um, I apologize for the ums and ahs, but I got about, let's say one, I got about 0 0.2 terahash off of upping these overclocks on my full farm. So it definitely did help. So this was just a quick and simple guide for Ironfish. I will drop more overclock setting. I will drop a video on overclock settings later. Um, you know, this will get you going on Regal and the pools that I am using are, I'm using the following pools. I'm using Crazy Pool for Zill because they give you the best fees. I'm sorry, they have the lowest fees. And then I am running Hero Miners. I'm running Hero Miners for Ironfish. Now the difficulty is going up insanely high and rewards are already dropping so if you can afford it i would definitely probably run higher overclock settings to push the power to get as much iron fish as you can before it's too late anyway guys thank you for watching uh, i'll probably release another video on iron fish over overclocks probably maybe later today just because everything changes so much i want to get it out to help people out anyway guys please uh please subscribe thank you for watching let's see what iron fish price does and it is going to be a wild ride so sit back and enjoy it. All right, take care, everybody.